Hi, uh, this is the fifth part of my syslogng tutorial. Last time we had an overview of the syslogng configuration and had our first steps with uh, working with syslogng. Today we learn about syslogng source definitions and how to check syslogng version and its enabled features. A source definition is a collection of one or more source drivers. It consists of two parts. Uh, it starts with the word source, followed by uh, a source identifier, which you will use later to refer to a given source. After that, it lists the source drivers and their parameters. Uh, here is an example of source definition. Here is how its syntax looks like. Using uh, indentation and new lines is optional, but I highly recommend making your configuration easier to read. Here is a simple file source. And uh, here is a more complex example with multiple source drivers. The internal driver collects the internal messages of syslogng, like starting up, network connection problems, and so on. You should have it in your configuration. Uh, the two file sources uh, follow various, uh, various log files. The system source collects system spe specific uh, local log messages. We will talk about this uh, more later. Depending on how, your, uh, how you process uh, and store logs later, you might have a single source definition with uh, many drivers, multiple defin definitions uh, with just a single driver in each, or a mixture of these. Sources can uh, have various parameters, like the file name in the previous example. You can also use flex modi to modify how sources work. This tutorial covers some of the most common flex. You can find more in the syslogng documentation. By default, syslogng parses all incoming log messages as they were uh, formatted according to the RFC 3164 specification which is also uh, called le uh, legacy or BSD syslog. Incoming log messages might use different formatting, such as JSON or CSV. In this case, uh, use the no flag pairs, which stores the whole message in the uh, message field. You can use a parser later to extract information from the log message. Sometimes log messages arrive uh, with formatting according to the RFC uh, 5424 uh, or new syslog specification. In that case, use the syslog protocol flag. In the various uh, sample configuration, we have already seen uh, some of the source drivers. Uh, here is the uh, list of the most common ones. Internal collects the internal messages of syslogng. You should collect these so uh, you can check if syslogng works properly uh, or if uh, there are any major problems. The Unix stream, Unix dgram, and pipe drivers collect uh, log messages from Unix domain sockets and name pipes. The five driver uh, reads log messages from files. The network driver reads uh, legacy log sources. The syslog driver reads new syslog me messages over the network. The sunstream driver reads uh, streams on Sun Solaris. The program driver's, uh, driver runs a program and reads, and reads its standard output. Using the Python driver allows you to code your own source driver in Python. For a comp complete list, see the syslogng documentation. The system source uh, can ease your life in multiple ways, as it lets you collect the system-specific lo local log messages of the host. Uh, of course, this only works on operating systems and environments used by syslogng developers and contributors. Uh, so, uh, how can it ease your life, you might ask. Uh, you do not have to uh, discover all the possible system-specific log sources by yourself. You can use uh, the same configuration on multiple systems. It offers an easy transition from devlog or to system journal, so there is no need to edit uh, the configuration on the uh, when you uh, change your system. 
The system source uh, parses some of the incoming log messages, log messages automatically, uh, such, such as sudo log messages. Uh, here is an example of using it. Duplicating sources in your configuration can cause mysterious errors, like syslogng trying to bind twice uh, on the same IP address and port. Make sure that you define a source only once, even if you need to use the source multiple times. Just refer to the same uh, source name in, your, in any log path where you need it. Before finishing this part of my syslogng tutorial, I want to show you uh, a syslogng command line option. Using minus capital V, uh, you can get uh, the syslogng version along with lots of other practical information. You can see the directory where syslogng modules are installed, the path for uh, the syslogng configuration library, the list of available uh, modules, and a number of uh, build time options like uh, Linux compatibility support. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave a comment on YouTube or reach out to me on Twitter or Mastodon.